and welcome to the Veggie Kitchen. I'm your host, Ed. We're coming to you from Orange County, California, and today's episode is my gluten-free and tasty gravy. Coming up right here, VeggieKitchen.org. As I said, today's episode is my gluten-free and tasty gravy, and I'm starting with some non-hydrogenated margarine and I'm going to get this going on here. The reason it's gluten free, we're not using any wheat flour, I'm using garbanzo bean flour. The garbanzo bean flour is going to give it a nice toasty, nutty flavor. For the herbs, I'm using some sage, I'm using some sage, some thyme, and some savory. Nice holiday gravy salt and pepper. Hang on, let's see, here we go. Now what's going to happen here, I'm just going to let this all melt down for a little bit, then we'll be adding the garbanzo flour. I'm going to let the garbanzo flour toast up for about four minutes. Get it in there? Okay, there you go. So now for this part, when you're making this, you're going to have to keep on stirring because you don't want the garbanzo flour to burn. You'll know it's done because the color will change. It'll get a nice toasted brown color and it'll be really fragrant. So this part here goes on, as I said, for at least three or four minutes. So I'll be doing this and we'll be back in a few, okay? VeggieKitchen.org Welcome back. It has been about four minutes, and I've been here the whole time, stirring this up. I know it's about done now because it's starting to stick a little bit to the bottom of the pan now. And as I said, it's got nice and toasted. Actually, look, you can see. See, the flowers changed color. So now we're ready to add the liquid. We have water and tamari. Tamari is a type of soy sauce. Tamari has no wheat in it, so it makes it gluten-free. It's just pure soy. Okay, let's see here. I have my tamari here. Tamari goes in the water. Boosh. And little by little, into the pan. Okay, keep stirring, because you don't want to get any lumps, you know. Okay, now it's made like a paste. You see, like a paste liquid. I'm going to switch to my whisker. Yes, and that's a nice brown color. It's going to work through the lumps. Let the heat come up on it so it boils up a bit and then it should be pretty much done. More liquid. And this is going to be it. Let's just finish it off, right? Use it all. This is a great dressing, great gravy. We served it over some tofu fillets a few days ago. Group of people. It was a hit. And if you make it for your folks, it'll be a hit, I'm sure. Okay, this is pretty much it. I'm going to keep stirring until the heat comes all the way back up. Then I'll lower it. It'll thicken up, and it'll be ready to serve. So when, we, when we're back in a moment, I'll have it all done, and I'll have it ready to serve, and you'll see the finished product, okay? VeggieKitchen.org I have been whisking continuously for the last four minutes at least, and now it's ready, boiling up. You have to keep whisking because you don't want to get any lumps, right? This will beat out the lumps in it. And now it's getting thick. It's getting to the desired consistency. It's done. I have some tofu fillets here and a little bit of the tofu mushroom dressing. You can see that recipe online, by the way, from last year's uh, Thanksgiving. A little bit of candied yams. Serve the dress, the gravy over it. Any extra gravy you have, you can chill it. Just let you know, when you do chill it, look at this first, whoa. 
so nice. Yike. Messy. This is it. This is the gluten-free and tasty gravy, along with the, to uh, the tofu mushroom dressing. It's over a few of our uh, tofu fillets. Delicious. Hope you'll try it. As I was saying, when you have the leftovers, you'll refrigerate them, and you'll notice once uh, you take it out the next day or whenever you're going to use it again, it'll be very thick. It'll be like almost like jelly where you can cut it. So as you reheat it slowly, you can add water to it to get it back to this consistency that you want. Okay? That's it for today. Gluten-free and tasty gravy. It'll be on the site. The recipe will be there. I hope you'll try it. We'll see you soon as always. I thank you for watching Veggie Kitchen. VeggieKitchen.org. See ya.